Hello guys, good evening, how you doing? Welcome back to the Sim Shack. It is Thursday the 4th of April and I am S Captain Sim UK. Um, we're going to take a look at Victory at Sea Atlantic. The game comes out uh, on the 5th of April 2024. So this is an early look, the devs have sent the key over. And um, I'm going to apologise in advance because this game is quite complex and although I've watched all the tutorials played all the tutorials and had a couple of practice goes there are still quite a few gaps in my understanding um, of this title uh, but I will give it my best shot and maybe we'll learn along the way um, if you're not familiar with the Victory at Sea uh, collection it's from Evil Twin Artworks and um, I think this is the third or the fourth title um, in the list and if you go and have a look on Steam right now you see that they're having a massive sale so you can pick up the first two or three whatever it is um, at very reasonable prices very reasonable prices just a couple of quid for the original um, now it's been described Victory at Sea Atlantic as not being a simulator but being the most realistic out of all of the other titles thus far so quite in depth quite realistic i've tried uh, doing a bit of sub hunting um in this game and I, I really struggled i have sunk one submarine but i'm not quite sure how i did it so if we come across any submarines it's probably going to be absolute carnage but um i will do my best anyway you can see the hedgehogs on the front of the ship. All the modelling is fantastic. Let's jump into a campaign. I'm going to leave it on medium because, as I say, I'm not sort of an expert at this. And um, here we go. Mainland Europe has fallen to the relentless advance of the Nazi war machine. And the U-boats of the German Kriegsmarine prowl the Atlantic waters, determined to cut the British Isles off from vital North American supplies. The naval and air forces of Britain and its allies are on guard to thwart the ambitions of the Kriegsmarine as Allied convoys brave the treacherous seas. The Navy's task is to ensure their safe passage in carrying the lifeblood of the war effort to Britain. The United States remains officially neutral, but we must continue to fight on in hopes the Americans will be persuaded to join their strength to the Allied cause. Oh, could do with that going a bit slower. 
So, okay, this is going to encourage me to do the tutorial a second time. I'm going to do it because I may learn something important that I missed earlier. So familiarize yourself with basic combat controls. I'm going to say, okay. Basic maneuvers. Military training film supervised by an officer appointed by the general staff. I like this. It's very authentic. Look around. Middle mouse button. How's you to look around? Middle mouse button. Move the camera. WASD. Movement. Refocus on the selected ship. Open the command wheel. Give the ship a move order. It will move to the targeted point in the sea. Give the ship a turn command. It will keep going in the ordered direction until otherwise commanded. While the ship is moving, you can also steer it. To adjust the ship's speed, use the throttle. You have completed basic maneuver training. Click continue when you are ready. Okay, so that's all very standard and straightforward. You'll notice it's all in black and white. They've actually added this feature to the game itself, so you can actually play the game in black and white should you want to. It kind of feels like... I think it's a good idea. I like that they've done it, but it kind of feels like I'm watching a movie about that era rather than actually being there in the moment. So I tried it for a while, but I prefer it in colour. Uh, familiarise yourself with further combat controls. New objective tutorial, basic combat tutorials, part two. Okay. And this may be where we come up against the submarine. And I sink it. I sunk it last time. But I'm not entirely sure how Zoom I sunk it. On the mini -map. Zoom in on the minimap. You may give orders to ships on the minimap by using the command wheel. Order your ship to move to the highlighted point. When you do it that way, speed up time. When you do it that way, this icon as opposed to this icon, they'll stop when they get there. Whereas if I did this, they would just carry on that trajectory or or that heading forever, basically. Let the ship move to the highlighted point. Okay. Select a gun. The mini map shows the gun's firing arc. The firing arc is. There is a hostile that. ship nearby. Move the camera close to it. Hostile ship. I've got to get the camera on him. With a gun selected, fire on the hostile ship. Directed. Good shots. Open the command wheel to select all gun turrets. All guns fire all at guns that same point. At the target point will fire. Select the two guns. Now. the torpedo spread so this when you change the, the torpedo spread the number of torp launch torpedoes at the hostile ship oh i see the number there goes up so four is a very wide spread five i think is maximum okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go for the the thinnest spread because this guy is not moving at all we're going to hope we hit him with at least two. Here we go. Oh, okay, so the spread isn't... I was thinking the spread was the gap between the torpedoes, but it's actually... the spread means how many torpedoes. Is that a torpedo gun? It is. 
So I could select that. I see. So I didn't get to see this grey bit earlier. I mean, that's far too wide a spread, isn't it? That's one torpedo. That's two. So I think three is a good... A good amount. So I only have five torpedo torpedoes total. We've got three in this little group and two up here. Looks like these two are going to miss. I don't know. That one might have a bit of luck. I don't know what's going to happen if I miss this ship. I didn't miss it earlier. I put a spread of five on earlier by accident and uh, I hit him once. I think that's going to miss, isn't it? Ooh, it's going to be close to that. Close to that uh, arse end, but no joy. That's a total miss. Oh, it is going to be close, but no hit. You lucky, 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 lucky fella. Right, where are the rest of my torpedoes? We may get lucky with that one. I think that one's going to be a miss as well. I don't know what this one's doing. Or is it the third one? Where the hell's it gone? Oh, the, the third one and the second one are, like, together. They are one in the same. Oh, if that hits, he's definitely gone, but... Oh, it's going to be close again. I think it's going to miss. No! Unbelievable. So, there you have it. A two. A spread of two. No good for nothing. Spread of three, no good for nothing. He hasn't worked out particularly well. Ammo depleted. Guess we don't have any more. Alright, let's get the guns back on him then. You have sunk the target. <laughs> I just had to shoot him one more time, fair enough. Look how quickly that goes down. Include a full list of videos covering topics such as different weapon and ammunition types, launching planes, and special orders. There used to be a button you could press to go underwater. doesn't look like they've got that anymore. That's a real shame if they've taken that out. You have completed basic combat training. Click continue when you are ready. There's nothing more eerie than watching a ship sink from under the water. It it really drives home you know, the loss of life and the, the carnage. I've been reading a book, a very good book actually, about um, about exactly this, the Atlantic um, battle between the, the, the U-boats, the Royal Navy and um, the US Navy. And the I think it was a sonar guy was discussing how he... Um, the thing that stuck with him the most was that when he was listening for a submarine, the submarine was always deadly silent until they got a hit on it. And as, as soon as that sub started taking on water and started sinking, he said they would make as much noise, you know, they would make so much noise, it was ridiculous, because they're, they're literally fighting for their lives as the submarine is sinking. And he said you can hear them screaming, shouting, banging, clanging, until, until finally the pressure gets too much and it just buckles. 
and that's the last noise you hear absolutely shocking so uh yeah i hope they haven't taken out the ability to go underwater because that's a really good feature i don't know why they would have done that anyway familiarize yourself with the campaign map controls okay move around the atlantic campaign map select asw patrol 2 Open the command wheel and start a patrol. I hold down shift. To the patrol route. Open the command wheel at another point in the ocean and hold the Q orders key. I would do, but you've put the thing in the way. Enemy fleet spotted. Attack the enemy submersible. If your target is the last known position of an enemy fleet, your fleet will head towards the last known position. So this is where I sunk the uh, submarine. You can speed up time as the fleet closes the distance. Close on the target. This is another thing I haven't quite wrapped my head around is the time scale of things. Battles seem to take a really long time and quite often there's no battle. Because the enemy just run away, or we run away, and we nobody can catch anyone. Enemy. But then it is early, early days in the war. It's 1940, so we don't have good sonar, we don't have good radar, we don't have good anything. Right, so we're going to enter combat, view it on the map. Here we go. This is the start combat screen. So you can see the submarine is there, or at least his last known position is there. We have two squadrons. Click and drag one ship out of the squadron list. Drag the ship onto the other squadron. This will combine them into a single squadron. This squadron is in a column formation, meaning they will move in single file. Change the formation to a line formation. The fleet will then hold the rotate button to change the facing of the squadron. The last known position of the enemy is shown here. When you are ready, you can click here to start the battle. So theoretically, we can put ourselves right on top of where we last saw him. I'm going to put it just ever so slightly back. Just to reduce the amount of time it takes to get there. Once a submerged enemy has been detected, its last known position will be shown on the minimap. Open the command wheel and order the corvettes to attack the target. So, that. Fire up will. Reduce speed to spot the sub, as loud engines can affect submarine hunting. In the yellow speed band, sonar has a penalty to detecting submerged targets. Faster classes of ship have a red speed band. At these speeds, engines are so noisy that sonar is not usable. Select a corvette. Zoom all the way in on the mini map. Oh, I see. This submarine is trying to evade you by submerging. Set the depth charge to depth 2. The firing arcs for depth charges and hedgehogs are shown on the minimap. Once the target is inside the firing arc, click on the ocean to launch depth charges. So, as you can see, he is nowhere near my my um, arc of fire. Our um, teammate here has just fired off some hedgehogs. He missed him. Last time I did this, he hit the enemy. Um, I don't really understand. So I think what's happening here is that we've got a convoy. So they're keeping their distance at all times. How do I get off this? So I'm going to have to pick this guy. 
see how he's just fired some hedgehogs there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of makes more sense this time. Because last time I couldn't stop my ship from going the wrong way. So no. We're right over him now. That's reloading. See the depth charge going off the back. So according to this, he's over there somewhere. So I'm not steering the ship. The ship's being steered by the computer. Uh, and this one is just maintaining distance from us. So we're the ones that are going to try and hit him. We're turning hard. Probably going to try and hit him on the minimap rather than here, which feels a little bit like cheating, but whatever. Still learning. If we can turn that sharply. Oh, I see. I see. Last time we hit and killed him with our first shot, which is why I didn't really understand how I hit him. This time I'm actually getting a bit of time to, to work on the kill. I can't actually figure out which way he's going. Don't tell me we've got no ammo left. That may be a better shot. Get him out there. We'll bring this guy in. Hopefully he'll have a better angle. I'm down to 11 knots. Two hedgehogs set depth to two. The other thing is, I don't feel like the radar or the sonar in this case is picking him up. You go any deeper than two. Oh, you can. Maybe it's depth level three. Definitely deeper, but no luck. Kind of cool how you can uh, I 
fire off multiple charges. You have completed basic anti-submersible warfare training. Got to get him. Return to the campaign Apparently. map when ready. It's just, it's not enough uh, confirmation there. There's no oil slick coming up. There's no debris. There's nothing. I don't know if I sunk him or not. I'm still not entirely convinced. I know what I'm doing there. All right. Um, here we go. New objective tutorial. Basic campaign tutorials. Part two. Here is the information critical to the war effort, showing your current supplies, food, supplies, and recruits. food, recruits. Recruits are used to crew newly constructed ships and aircraft. This counter shows when more resources will be produced. Click on the objectives icon. You will see the current objectives that need to be completed. Once the first phase of objectives are completed, new objectives will appear. Clicking on an objective will trigger a tutorial if appropriate. Click on the Build a Factory objective. Okay. On the Industry panel, click on the Factory Build button. Click a slot to start constructing a factory. So now I need to build a farm, commission a ship. So click on build farm and you'll notice up here on the top left, every time I build something, the number of supplies we have goes down. You don't have enough power to run all the structures in this region. Click on the power station build button. Click a slot to start constructing an additional power station. Okay, so you've got power stations, which I believe can be upgraded to three stars. So I'm not sure why we didn't upgrade that rather than build a second one. Um, but you've got to have a certain number of power cells or stars or units or whatever in order to power the items that are in that area so um these are still being built so they're not actually active yet but um we put in a second power unit anyway so at some point these will both be built probably before this but they won't actually work so we need to get this thing down in order to make it work i don't yet know how to upgrade if i click on that doesn't really sort of give me any information. So I'll have to wait until a tutorial comes up on that to figure that section out. But if we go back to our objectives, I now have to commission a ship. Click on the shipyards icon. Shipyards. Select a shipyard. Belfast. Open the shipyard window. That's the window. Click on a ship class to see its details, including its cost and time to commission. Let's have Hood Class Battle Cruiser. If you can afford the ship, click Commission. So we've got 624. It's going to cost half of that. Half of that and nearly all of that. So we'll commission it, but it's going to run us very low. 71 days that's going you to take. You up multiple ships to be commissioned. Higher level shipyards are able to commission multiple ships simultaneously. Okay, so now I have to build a laboratory. On the industry panel, click on the laboratory build button. I'm running out of resources here. Place the laboratory in a location of your choice. Let's put it up north. Hopefully they won't. No, let's put it over here. So that's the lab. That's going to allow us to do research, I imagine. Um, and what's the last thing? An intelligence station. Okay. On the industry panel, click on the intelligence station build button. Place the intelligence station in a location of your choice. Pop it in East Anglia. 
Okay, now we have to merge two fleets. Select Force 2. Order Force 2 to merge with Force 1. We right click and select Merge. Allow the two fleets to merge. Speed that up. <laughs> hey, Pez. The village people. I am very well, thank you, Pez. How are you? It's Captain Village People to you, my friend. Um, I just noticed. The old chatty wassy wassy thing's not working. Click the combined fleet rename button. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're well, Pez. I'm glad you're well. Right, uh, back to the game. That should be working out. Click the Combined Fleets Rename button. So I'll click on this and we'll rename it Choose Force for this fleet. Sim UK 1, just for the sake of doing it. How are you? I am good, thank you, Robert. How are ya? <laughs> British Force Sim UK 1 has been placed under your command of the coast of Portsmouth. Okay, so there it is on the map. The future of this war now depends on you. It is your responsibility to build up our naval strength, send forth fleets to defend the British Isles, and lay down the foundations for an Allied victory on the Western Front. Manufacture supplies in preparation for our eventual push back into Europe. Grow food to feed our growing armed forces. Enlist crew and troops to fight for their country. Expand the Allied fleets. Construct enough aircraft to claim air superiority. That is an awful lot to ask of somebody. <laughs> I don't know who they think I am. I don't look anything like Winston Churchill. Bridge Force 3 has been placed under my command, just off the coast of Fast Lane, or Fast Lane. You're on the map. Okay, that's up there. Uh, ASW Patrol 1 has been placed under my command. Now, if that's an AS... Oh, God. Okay. Any other messages? Oh, my gosh. British Submersible Patrol 1 has been placed under my control. Okay. Right, that's it. So we're starting off with 1,400 supplies, 419 food, and 949 recruits. They do increase every seven days. And you can see here that we're making zero food. I've got a lot of objectives to deal with. I've got to stockpile supplies, stockpile food, and stockpile enlisted men. Up to 7,000, and food as well. I've also got to build another 28 ships and another 100 aircraft. War Thunder is a war game and there's Britain too. It's very cool. I just started it so it's a little bit hard, but I did get over it. War Thunder. I keep meaning to have a look at War Thunder. I will take a look. It's on my to-do list, but my to-do list is ever so long. Whether or not I can actually get around to doing that, I don't know. But thank you for giving me the heads up. I have seen some B-17 uh, videos, which I found very interesting. So I might... I might uh, in the coming weeks, be able to swing my way over and have a look. Right, um, so let's go get the submersible patrol. I'm guessing at this stage in the war, 1940, most of the U-boat ships are going to be coming out of here and heading out into the Atlantic. But on the off chance that there are some German fleets coming this way, um, I'm going to put my submersible patrol yeah, but the grind is all over hard, the North so Sea. Bad, but good. The grind is very hard. It's a free-to-play game, isn't it, Rob? 
which normally does mean that there's a huge grind. But I mean, if you don't mind grinding, then free to play games are great, I suppose. If you don't mind losing to people who have paid money or grinded, grinded more than you, is that even proper English? Right, so I'm going to hold shift down, right click, click patrol there, click patrol there, and you can see we're just going to try and catch any sneaky little ships that come in. It's a shame you can't adjust it, actually. In fact, I don't know how to undo it. Let's try, let's try making another one out of curiosity. I don't want any sneaky... So that just causes all sorts of problems. What about if I just say right click and that ah, just starts a fresh one? Okay. So that's pretty good. And there's less chance of them escaping us there. I've also got an anti submarine patrol here. I don't know how well. I mean. Are we going to get many submarines coming out this way? That's an awful long way for them to travel. Just to get here, especially when they've got so many sub pens down this side. But, you know, it's early days, it's 1940, perhaps. Is it a strategy game because I see you are creating a plan? Uh, yeah, it, it definitely is a strategy game. Um, the victory at sea... Um, Collection, if you will, is very much a strategy based game. But this one, they say, although it's not perfect simulation, it's the most realistic out of the three or four. I can't, for some reason, I can't remember how many there are. But Evil Twin Artworks have sent it over. The game releases on the 5th of April 2024. I think it's going to release in early access. And this is pre early access. So uh, there's a whole bunch of issues that you might spot in this particular playthrough that don't actually exist in the. In the release version but that's just the nature of um early access so i'm guess I, i'm thinking we're gonna try and block this area oh look at that i didn't realize it would curve round like that that's pretty that's pretty cool thanks right, mate in subscribing now do a patrol thank you ever so much much appreciate it how far out shall i go I don't know if there's like a fuel limit or anything, but uh, hopefully that will catch any sneaky little. Well, I don't know if they go this way, I might miss them. Then they'll run into Force One. Okay, uh, so ASW Patrol 2 has got an alert on it. Ammunition is low. So I'm probably going to send them back to base so that they can. Uh, cover now this is this is basically our job all these convoy ships that are coming across the atlantic need to reach britain if they don't we don't get any supplies if we have no supplies everything stops so we've got to protect all of these guys now once the convoy has begun they're kind of automated unless they get into trouble in which case i think we can then jump in and be part of that ship but otherwise they they're fully automated from that point so um i'm bringing these guys in and then i'll send them back out on patrol and we'll patrol this area maybe i can sort of do a, a crossover maybe i'll send these guys down to do a bit of a patrol in going house right now from school because i'm in italy and it's day here Oh, is it still daytime? You just finished school, mate. That's very cool. Okay, so we've got a bit of a patrol there. So any U-boats coming out this way, I've just got to try and limit or stop as many as I can from getting into the Atlantic. But if you know anything about World War II history, you'll know that um, they pretty much destroyed everything that was uh, over here. Yeah, we've had a bit of a rainy day today. It's funny, I hardly ever think of rain when I think of Italy. But I suppose it must rain occasionally, otherwise you wouldn't be able to produce so much fantastic wine and 
such. Uh, right, I'm going to focus on building farms. Because it looks like we have none. How many resources is that? Okay. We've got just enough power there to build a farm. Put one over here. Oh, did I just did I just build a power battery by accident? Let's do a farm. Getting perilously low over there, look. Um, which one's the farm? That one, okay. I think one more. Okay, maybe one more. We'll take ourselves down to 1,000 power. Okay, okay, okay. I can do another one. and spread them out as much as possible. We've got just over a thousand there. What I want to do now... ...so much that the pond in Britain was full and we had to evacuate the zone. You had to evacuate the zone? Goodness me. That is something that happens in Britain quite a lot. We've been having flood alerts all week in the area I live in. I haven't seen any, but uh, I know they're out there. I know where they are. Same places. It's always the same place that all these fields flood. They're designed to flood, but they do flood a lot. Uh, the local rivers can get maybe three times as deep as they are usually. I mean, that's that's pretty big. That's that's a lot of water. Um, right. So I need to get some airfields built. So I'm going to slam this in here. Lucky you. It's going to cost forty supplies. So that's actually not too bad. I'm going to slam three airfields down. It'll take seven days. I suppose the airfields, I'm thinking like modern day airports, but airfields back in the day were probably grass based. Let's do one more. So we've got airfields all across the south of Britain and up on the. Uh, the eastern side there. We do with one more. Let's do one more. Totally making this up as I go along, by the way. I don't know what I'm doing. Now, um, I can speed up time, but my concern is when I was in combat and I, I sped up the time, I got hit by torpedoes, but I had no warning that there were torpedoes coming in. So I don't quite know if the game stops when something important happens or what but we can't we, we can't continue at this pace because we've got to wait at least a week before any of this stuff is built so i think we can go up to a hundred times speed you can see all of our patrols are out doing their thing um the aws crew came back in here fleet spotted Okay, so it does seem to stop, and it brings it back down to times one as well. So the ASW Patrol 2, who are supposed to be going home, have discovered two submersibles. I would love to sink these. I would absolutely love to sink these boys. Let's have a go and see if we can do it. We are low on ammo, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. We have encountered the enemy. So, we have two corvettes and they have two submersibles. Um, I got home and mom did not prep my fries. This you didn't prep your fries? That's outrageous. Come on, mum. Get them fries on the go. 
Right, let's go into combat and see what happens here. This will be my first official, official, proper fight. We have smooth seas. Now, it's really difficult. I think. Yeah, I know. Ah, right. So, I imagine this is the bow of the submarine, so they're heading this way. But that's maximum zoomed in. If I zoom out even one time, it is really difficult to tell which way they're going. So it looks like they're heading towards us, which is good. Um, let's put ourselves into a column formation. And I want to move us right in the middle. My plan is we're going to go right down the middle of these boys and drop some um, depth charges off both sides of the ships and sink them. We'll bring down the speed so that our sonar has a chance of working. But remember, this is 1940. So the sonar in 1940 is about as effective as sticking a straw in the water and trying to listen for them that way. Not very effective at all. Um, start battle. Wish me luck. We should be in, in line formation. We are. It's good. So I'm going to set this up. So that we go one, one, two, three. You can only select one at a time, okay. So I one, one, two, three. And I'm gonna watch your stream, and if I'm not talking, it's because I'm eating. So good luck, mate. And see you. On Thank you very much. Video. Enjoy your fries, my friend. You take your time and you enjoy those fries. Nothing quite like perfectly cooked fries. Bit of mayonnaise, bit of ketchup mixed together. That's always nice. Not always nice, but sometimes nice. Uh, I'm going to set two, one, two, one on the, on the back ship. Mm, now let's go three. Two, one, two, three. Yeah. Right. I'd love it if you could pick them up on the old radar, chaps. Now, this is where I'm loath to speed up time because, like I say, the last time I did it, I was sailing towards an enemy and they were still quite a distance away from me. That's another thing, actually. On the minimap, which you can expand to be full screen, there is no concept of distance that I can see. So I don't know how far that is. And I don't know how far... I mean, you can see where my sonar range is because if I zoom out far enough, you can see it. Um, but I don't know how far that is. I'm guessing it's less than a mile. Which means they're pretty damn close. They're sort of less than half a mile away from us. Which is only a few hundred yards or whatever. But it doesn't seem to update them on the sonar very often, if at all. Um, oh, hang on. Thinking about it. Ah, I think I get it. There is no sonar on this boat. It's too early. We're in a period of time. But what's that? Hedgehogs? See, that doesn't... That confuses me, because I didn't think hedgehogs were available in 1940. Maybe that's what they mean by it's not simulation. I'm going to have to research that. Unless, unless you, any of you guys out there know, please let me know in the comments. But I, I thought hedgehogs came into force late 1942, early 1943. It may even be later than that. I can't remember now. But that's why I'm not picking up any information here, because we have no sonar. So I'm going to get both ships then going full flank ahead. And...
trying to see if they're moving at all. It doesn't appear as though they are moving. We definitely are moving. We'll get the first ship to attack that one. And we'll get the second ship to attack that one. So they're no longer in formation. They're now separate entities. As, I, as you can see there, I've split them. Um, and we're looking dead ahead. You can see where we're heading. If I press G, I get the old binoculars. But, oh, I swear to God, I've never seen anything. And these boys are probably submerged by now. If they're not running, then they're lining up an attack on us. Quite often, the crew will shout out... Um, uh, ...periscope detected or something. And I'm not sure whether they've seen that with their eyes or on the um, on the radar. I've never seen I've never seen a ship at all, a uh, submarine rather. It must be coming closer towards us. You can't sort of write down anything either. You can't make chart notes or anything like that, which makes it difficult to sort of estimate, if you will, how far you've travelled and how far they've travelled. It's, it's going to be really tricky to sink anything in 1940, but you know maybe that's maybe that's you know really accurate because other than chucking depth charges off the back, we didn't really have anything. That's two hedgehogs, their depth charges, and their depth charges. So depth charges all along the side. Yes, and that's a launcher there. Obviously these are roll off the back barrel styly ones. Even though they shoot up in the air when you press the button. Uh, they're the hedgehogs, which I'm not sure should be here in 1940, but be mistaken. There's another one there. So I think somewhere around about here we should drop them or maybe I don't know. The chances of sinking these boys is is very very unlikely. I saw something there. Our only hope, really, is that they surface and the radar picks them up. Maybe we could just hang around this area for long enough. But they have to submerge. That's that's going to take a long time. One forty. Is this actually in real time? I think it actually is in real time, isn't it? It's one forty. Where's the timer? We'll see if that's 1.41 in a minute. It must be real time. If I go double time, that's going to go 13.41 in about 
10, 15, 20 seconds. Okay, that's surprising. It hasn't changed at all. Is it because I'm in binocular mode? No. That might just be a bug, or it may be that that just shows us what time the battle started. I really don't know. But it definitely hasn't changed, does it? Even though we're moving. That's what I was saying at the beginning. I don't really understand the time frame of the game. I mean, obviously I'm heading towards where the submarines were. They're probably not there anymore. Um, then again, 1940, maybe they're not aware that we are hunting them down. We must have picked them up on radar initially, I would have thought. The amount of time it takes for us to get from where we started to where we last saw them it could be bloody miles away. I know when they're submerged, submarines in the 1940 eras are maybe doing about seven, eight knots, um, depending on tidal flows and other restrictions. They could be doing less than that. It could be six knots. Um, but we're only doing 18 knots. So... It's a long time to close the distance, which gives them a long time to just... I mean, if they both just turned off in different directions, we're never going to catch both of them. Not in a million years. If I speed up time, that's when I get hit by torpedoes, but I get no warning <laughs> that, that anyone's fired a torpedo or that we've picked them up on radar or anything, so a bit nerve-wracking. Let's, let's try it anyway. Let's see what happens. So the maximum you can do in combat is eight times speed. seeing a thing out here. And I believe that we are limited in the number of um, depth charges that we actually have on board. It's not a case of like um, destroyer, the U-boat hunter, we can just duck um, depth charges at off the back of the boat as much as you like. I don't think that applies here. Absolutely no sign of them whatsoever. What I'll do is I'll go there No. So now why doesn't that work? Holding shift down is supposed to allow you to chain commands. That didn't work just now. It does work occasionally. But only if it's still part of the same command, I see. Okay. Defense actually. Now the other thing is, 
I don't know if there's a time limit. How long can I be hunting these bad boys before it says you've been out there long enough? Battle is over. There's an awful lot of uh, gaps in my understanding of this game at the moment. I'll be very upset if they've dropped the underwater camera because that for me was a really, really good aspect of the game. By the way, if you're interested in looking at the other Victory at Sea titles, um, they're like 80% discount at the moment. So you can pick them up. You can pick up the original for about £3, I think. And um, if I could just look. A bit dangerous. I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, so we've got Victory at Sea Ironclad, Victory at Sea the original, and Victory at Sea Pacific. And they've all got like 85-75% discount at the moment. So you can grab them at massively discounted prices. Um, the U -boat. And uh, yeah, feel free to check out the reviews all over the place. There's lots of people playing the games. And uh, they're really good fun. But this one is, I think, trying to add more of a almost a Hearts of Iron sort of element into proceedings, which definitely makes things more challenging. There's a lot more for me to think about. That's for damn sure. It's not just naval battle. But at the moment, as you can see, 1940, trying to hunt submarines with no sonar and really pretty crappy radar it's almost impossible unless the submarines pop up like literally surface fully I've got no idea where they're going you can understand why uh, the Germans called it the happy time because they, they could just literally pop up shoot a couple of ships sink back down under the water oh hang on what's going on here Now, did you see that? It suddenly popped up. But I didn't get any sort of information to say that he just popped up. So I think the guns fired at him. I suspect there's going to be a torpedo heading our way right now. So I'm going to have to be a little bit cautious. The other thing I've got to try and figure out is which way are they going now? Did they turn around? I wish it would zoom in on where my mouse is. Because every time I put the mouse where I want it to zoom in and it zooms in on the middle, which is most infuriating. Yeah, they're running. Oh, wrong button. Right, okay, so we've got some idea what they're doing. Can submarines in 1940 shoot backwards? Can't remember. If they can, then I'm expecting uh, torpedoes to be heading our way. So we're going to be chasing them. I got it now. And every time they pop up, that's when we hone in on where they are. And hopefully we'll get eyeballs on them. It's not even a case of uh, hunt them down with sonar and drop it when you're close. We haven't even got that option. Let's head in that general direction and see if they pop up again. I'll be honest, but there's one. 
it didn't occur to me that's a weird shot it didn't occur to me at all that then the submarines might actually just turn around and run away you can actually see him look can you get guns on him I'm in the wrong flipping boat here There somewhere, it's going to be out of range. No, nope, lost sight of him. I think we can. I think we are in range. So if they pop up again, we might actually be able to get some shots off of them. Miles off, wasn't I? Well, we have them on the run. Whether or not, whether or not we can actually uh, effectively hit them. A very different kettle of fish. But the distance is definitely getting smaller. I just wish this would drop back to, to one as soon as they pop up on the radar. Thought it popped up then. The last time we spotted them, we were a square and a half away. I think we're going to have to be within half a square to be able to drop any depth charges on them. Incredibly difficult to catch a submarine. Now that should be within gun range. But he is firing at him. As soon as I get over here, he's gone. Let's see. Lost contact, I think it said. So we're less than. Are you hunting U boats? 
Hey, Sensational. Hi, buddy. Yes, um, trying to with very early technology. These particular U boats appear to be running away. What was that? What was that? I thought I saw uh I thought I saw a torpedo then. Anyone else see that? Have you hit any yet? Um I hit one in the tutorial, I think. Not a hundred percent sure. I think I saw a, to a torpedo. Not a hundred percent sure. If I did, it's coming for this Corvette. Speed up time, but be very careful, cautious. Are you in a destroyer? We are in a Corvette at the moment. 1940s. So it is WW2. It's very early in the war. It's 1940. So the AWS technology is absolutely shocking. <laughs> so shocking. It took me a while to figure out that we don't have sonar on this boat. I couldn't understand why we weren't tracking this guy underwater. It's because we have no sonar at this point in time. The description. It does say that, yeah. This is Victory at Sea. If you haven't heard of the um, Evil Twin Artworks uh, Victory at Sea collection, it's well worth checking out. At the moment, it's like 75 or 85% discount on Steam. So you could, re you could pick up the original for less than £3, I think. Well worth a look. Um... Highly recommend you check out some reviews on it and stuff. But uh, this one, this this one's releasing on the 5th of April. This is Victory at Sea, the Atlantic. Got a bit more of a Hearts of Iron 4 feel about it. There he is, there's, there's that fella. I'm going to send this guy in that direction. But there he is. That's all we can see. Look. Oh, we nearly hit him. That's the first time I've seen a submarine in this game. They're firing at us, look. <coughs> They're a bit ballsy, aren't they? And there he is, back under the water. That's kind of cool, actually. It's kind of cool. Right, so now he's gone. Now we've got no idea where he is. At all. So I'm going to say to these guys, just keep going in that direction. Every time these submarines pop up and try and take... No flotilla. <coughs> no flotilla. This is um, this is an AWS... Uh, no, um, a ASW, sorry, um, crew that we've got. They are so literally designed to hunt and sink submarines. I say designed... They can't search them underwater, and the radar they've got is pretty ineffective. It's got a range of about maybe a mile, two miles on a like very good condition day. So um, what we have to do off land or off out of combat map is sort of um, lead the research to improve um, their sonar capability and their radar cap capability in that sense. Yes, I manage all the ships. They're all under my control. I've got multiple um, patrols and such. When we get out of this combat uh, mission that we're in at the moment, you'll see that we've got maybe four or five different fleets. And then we've got cargo ships coming across the Atlantic from America to Britain. And basically, at the beginning at least, that's what we're protecting, are those ships coming across... Because um, with them 
comes uh, resources resources we can reinvest into farms and food and production and then eventually around about 1943-44 we can um, build up enough units to attack the mainland of Europe that's the plan um, but I, God only knows how long that would take because here I am hunting these two new boats I must have been at this for it's got to be half an hour I've been hunting these two new boats and as you saw, all they're doing is they're submerging, so I can't see them. I have no idea where they are now at all. Uh, and they pop up and shoot at us and then sink again. Do you like my hat? Thank you very much. I have a collection of caps. I try and wear the, the appropriate hat based on the game I'm playing. It's quirky, but I think it's funny at the same time. Anyway, let me speed up time here and we'll see if we can get our eyes on these boys again. See if we're any closer. We must be catching them. We're doing 18 knots and they're doing maximum 8. So you would think we'd be closing, the, closing them down at like 10 knots. Mike and his many cats. Per hour. Mike and his many hats, yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. I don't know if you can see them in the background. No, the camera doesn't show them got quite a collection quite a collection I need to stop collecting them oh hey Tez I only just showed me that it was you saying that hey then buddy Tez knows how many hats I've got <laughs> Come on, come on. I have seen them. You posted them in Discord. I did. And that wasn't all of them. <laughs> it's just a small selection. So unless these U-boats pop up out of the water again and take some shots at us, we're not going to see them. Like I say, that's the area that we can play in. Uh, sensational. I have an official Discord which isn't being managed. Um, and we have an unofficial Discord which just me and a few friends frequent. A hobby. Yours is clearly collecting caps. Yes, one of my hobbies, clearly. Now, you see that? We, we start again into combat, but it didn't swap it down to one minute. I'll tell you what, we're close now. Now we're close. We're within a square. Well, that's quite exciting. Oh, that was close. Look at that. It bloody nearly hit us. Come on, boys. Get some shots on him. Ah, that's what I saw. Is he still up? No, he's gone back under again. Now, I'm no professional at the... Um, oh, for God's sakes. I'm struggling a bit with the controls at times. I'm no professional with the War at Sea series although i have been playing a lot recently trying to sort of hone my skills i feel like the controls that you had on the boat in previous games were much better far more realistic and far more intuitive uh, than they feel at the moment so I, i'm st i'm struggling with that a little bit and i'm i'm wondering whether that's something that's going to have to change I will defer to... There's quite a few people who play this game or this series religiously. I would defer to their opinion on this matter, but my suspicion is that 
this has taken a step backwards in terms of controlling the ships. Um, for example, I was able to um, completely control my ship with my voice previously. I could control the speed, my heading, everything. Um, and that's what you want in a game of this nature. Well, that's what I want in a game of this nature. But now, with this right-click select from this sort of thing, it just it doesn't quite make sense in my head. I don't think it, it's quite as intuitive or quite as natural feeling or quite as realistic, to be fair. But uh, I only got the game today, so I've only been playing for a maybe two hours, three hours tops. So it's very early days. I might get used to it. Speed things up, see if we can't find them again. If we can get to within half a square of them, I think we might have a chance to sink in one of them. Or even both of them, who knows. So, okay, this is interesting. As soon as they see a target, they are firing. So... Is that something I can control? Can I tell them not... Oh, hang on! Have we sunk one? I think we've sunk one. Again, we've got no underwater cam. Bloody hell, we've sunk one! <laughs> How's that for a bit of luck? But yeah, they seem to be automatically firing at the enemy, which is great, makes my life a lot easier, but... If I've got to manage how much ammo we've got and things like that, I need to be able to tell them when to fire and when not to fire. As the captain of the ship, so to speak. I'll bring this boy up here now. So we've sunk one. That is 1-0 to us. I can't believe we did that. No depth charges used. So this is very much um, an above water period of time, I guess. Let's see if we can find his mate. Nice. I do feel rather detached from that kill. I mean, I know I'm hunting them and I'm telling them which way to go, but... Who controls auto-fire? I can select guns, I can point guns at things, but in the, in the previous titles you had way more control over... Um, just the, 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 the guns, the right, rounds you were firing and stuff like that. Interesting. I, I think it's very unlikely that this submarine would surface again, bearing in mind his teammate has just been shot to bits. He must know that he's been shot and sunk. Also, another thing I noticed is when one of your ships gets shot and sunk, there are no survivors, ever. I would maybe like to see that changed. Right, so we've now passed the last known position of this submarine. We sonar still have... Contact. Wait a minute, he just said sonar. He's flipping behind us. The cheeky git. He sunk, turned his engine off, and let us go straight past him. Good tactic, I grant you. But also incredibly bloody cheeky. 
So if we've just picked them up on sonar, I don't understand because we don't have sonar. Unless he means radar and it's just saying the wrong thing. We don't have sonar. I'm going to drive to this location and I'm just going to drop randomly some um, oh whoa 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 so what happened is he has surfaced that we hit him there he is That's definitely a hit. Crippled. Radar reduced. There you go. We sunk them both. Decisive victory. I was very, very much looking forward to dropping some depth charges on these boys, though. Brilliant. Okay, so the the benefit from that is, and I'm still working this game out as I play it, the benefit is that we took no damage whatsoever. We sunk both of them, which i be honest with you, I didn't think was going to be possible. Um, and the XP or, or ranking of these Enemy boats spotted. should be... Uh, Simi is Karthik Pandian. Should be going up. Hey, Stewie. Karthik Pandy. <laughs> I don't know who Karthik Pandy is. Uh, so, yeah, I think that was a bug as well. It's telling me enemy detected. I think it was the same two submarines that we just sunk, so we don't need to worry about that. Um... Right, I really need to send this AWS2 patrol back to the dock. Because they are low on ammo. And obviously that's no good to us. So these are all the convoy ships that are currently sailing to and from uh, America. There's an awful lot going on. And um, we've got a couple of ships that are nearly home. Convoy beer is going to arrive in six days. He's a few days past that. There's another convoy here. I oh, know he's just he's on his way back to America. So you can see um, that if, say, for example, this one dropped off some some resources, and this one got sunk. There's quite a big gap between that and the next one. And if you lose maybe two of these at a time, these two are going back to America, so they're not relevant. That one's also going back to America. So you see, there's the next one. There's the, th the fourth one. And most of these are going back to America. I think we can initialize um, a convoy, but I haven't seen the tutorial on how to do that yet. So I guess we'll just speed up, see how our development comes along. It should take about seven days. And should we spot any more enemy convoys or submarines or whatever, we'll just go and attack them. But it feels it feels a, a lot different. From the from the last victory at sea I, I was playing. Very different indeed. Enemy fleet spotted. Oh. Hmm. 
Now that does not look like... Oh my god. Six destroyers and one heavy cruiser. Prioritise the destroyers. We want the destroyers to get to them first. I think these guys are going to destroy us. We're an anti-submarine warfare unit. We're not... Heavy, we heavy. Have encountered the enemy. So, yeah, look, we've got five destroyers. They've got six destroyers and one heavy cruiser. I think if we get into battle with these guys, we're probably going to lose. Just wondering if I can... Can't seem to get rid of this screen either. Once it's popped up, it's kind of there permanently. Let's a way of getting rid of it. Um, so force three. I don't know what good they're doing over here. You got in the Norfolk area, Sim. The Norfolk area, area. Not much at the moment. Uh, this is Norfolk up here, isn't it? It's Anglia, or is it over here in Norfolk? Oh, God. Well, that'd be Kent. Yeah, Norfolk's up here, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, we're going to put an airfield in and a lower staff intelligence station. Because all the most intelligent people come from Norfolk, of course. We do have a submersible patrol. We could bring them in, couldn't we? Now, that's an interesting idea. That's it. Could swing those guys around. They could do, they could do quite a bit of damage to these boys. So I think what we're going to do is try and evade, evade them. Right. Well, there's a lesson learnt. Evade does not necessarily mean you can evade. What evade means is you're going to try and evade. So what happened, by the looks of things, is we nearly sunk, we crippled two of their ships, heavily damaged a third, fourth. So we crippled two, heavily damaged two, lost five ships. That's really bad. That really is bad. Wacker installation in the sea. Whacking installation in the sea. That would, yeah, that would help. Um, right. So, lesson learnt. Don't try and evade. Physically evade. Like, literally don't go towards them. Um, it's, don't know whether this submersible patrol can get here in time. We'll send them... We'll send them and we'll see what happens. Um, I think I'm going to have to start producing some ships, aren't I? We don't have a lot of supplies, but if I don't start making ships, we're going to have a, a, a hell of a time. Can I just pick it like this? Nope, I have to pick it here. What's that called then? Oh. Build a rock shop, give the enemy toothache. Rock shop. <laughs> <clears throat> we have to build sausages for the for the Germans. All about the uh, bratwursts. Right. So I did this wrong. Let me try that again. There it is. Q. So I can I can put four ships here in a queue. Why is that one pink? That's the selected one. Okay. So the cost is too high. I can't afford that. Let's see if I can afford any of these. These are some big ships. These are a lot smaller. The heavy cruiser. The light cruiser. We need something. We can't have nothing. German Dunner Kebab. So 
So we we literally don't have enough food. We we can nearly build a Dana class light cruiser, but other than that, I don't know there are some smaller ships here. So I could get a J class destroyer. What does that do? Thirty six knots. Okay, that's a lot faster. Damage forty three. Armor seventeen. Displacement. 1700 tons. She comes with radar, she's a sub hunter, and she's agile. So that doesn't seem like a terrible choice, I have to say. Um, we've got maybe 10 torpedoes, three depth charge, three anti aircraft guns. And six 4.7 inch uh, Mark 12 cannons, I guess. They're weak. But the torpedoes are devastating. Uh, depth charges are slow loading, but do good damage. I think that's a pretty good idea. That's only going to take 17 days as well. So let's grab that twice. And that's it. I'm out of food. I can't do another one. So we'll have two J class destroyers by the end of the month. A four inches well. Better than nothing. In nineteen forty, you gotta remember the British Navy were not in any way, shape or form ready for the the might of the German uh, submarines. There's our main force. Sim UK1. They should come down here, take over the ASW patrol. British convoy beer delivered its cargo to Fast Lane. Excellent. That's going to help a lot. So in five days, we're going to have 882 units. So, has anything been built? No, Zeddy still. Jones. Things were smaller back then. Things were definitely smaller back then, yeah. It's just a small ship, though, don't forget. New objective tutorial submersible training. Familiarize yourself with submersible warfare. Okay. So now we're going to be in charge of a submarine, a 1940 submarine, which is a very different prospect from a 1944, 1943. Before you enter combat, here is what you need to know about submarine operations. W. Dive to periscope depth. Can I do that with the F key? Yes, I can. Allow the submersible to submerge. Select the torpedoes. Rotate the periscope until the enemy ship is in view. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm liking this. Quite excited now. I hope we do catch up with that uh, German convoy. We might be able to put some damage on them. Let's see what we can do here. Lock onto the enemy ship. Lock. A projected position of the targeted ship can now be seen on the mini map as a guide for aiming the selected torpedoes. Okay. Reduce the firing arc and the number of torpedoes used to one as seen on the ship card. Click to launch torpedoes. Uh, then now. Torpedoes have an arming range. If a torpedo hits a target before it is armed, it will not Shows. explode. Right-click to leave the periscope. You have completed An underwater cam. submersible warfare training. Click continue when you are ready. There is an underwater cam. How do I turn it on? I want to know if my sub... If my... I want to know if I hit him. Oh, hang on. Front of the submarine is that shape. That's not... Rear. 
unless I'm facing backwards. Hang on, I'm confused now. Oh, it's the planes. That's what that little sticky out bit is. Okay. I think we missed. I think we've missed. Ah, we missed. No. Are we going to hit him? Yes. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. I don't know why I couldn't go underwater earlier when we were sinking ships. Just It wouldn't let me go underwater. I don't know why. There's a fire at wheel option. Look at that. That went down really quickly. Because you have to have an underwater unit. Well, um, the, the reason why I'm querying that is because in, in the previous Victory at Sea games, there was a button you pressed. I can't remember what it was, actually. Um, but you could switch between above water and below water at any time, regardless of what ship you were in. Um I'm pretty sure I'm not talking rubbish. Again, there's no audio. Normally you'd hear the creaking and crushing and horrible sort of bending, buckling, bracing um, bulkheads and stuff. There's, uh, yeah, it's, it's deadly silent under the water for some reason. But then, you know, I must, I must say again, this is... The version I'm playing is pre-early access, so the early access that comes out on the 5th of April is not this same version that I've got. I have to reiterate that sort of many times over, I suppose. Right, okay, so we know... We have encountered the enemy. Sort of. Oh, we've encountered the enemy. Oh, no. Early access bug, perhaps. Could be, yeah, could be an early access bug. Um, I didn't think there was any audio at all when I first started, and that was because um, all the audio was down to zero, which I, I didn't realise at first. So, yeah, it could just be a, a game bug easily. Um, so, hang on, we've spotted spotter basically can i shoot a spotter out the sky these are convoys i don't think there's anything i need to do i'm worried though if i hit evade it says he's a spotter but does, does that mean he's got no weapons or is he going to try and sink an entire convoy Okay, nothing happened. Okay. So he was literally just a spot of plane. That's fine. We have encountered the enemy. There he is again. Same blow. I see stuff like that new cause of my teacher. You <laughs> That's right, Tez. That is right. So that spot is going back over there. We got spotters up in that area as well. I don't know where the hell he was going.
We've got some spotters down here. I'm guessing these spotters are off. Yeah, okay, they come from that convoy. This is cool. They're automatically sending spotters out all over the place. It is a bot telling me what people are saying, yes. I can introduce you to that bot. We have encountered the enemy. A supply convoy is under attack in Plymouth. Is it another spotter? So it's two spotters again. I can just evade them. But. Right. I think we need to bring our force three out into this area. Um, let's say... Let's patrol there are any sub boats here we kind of want to catch them before they get cl this close I would say We'll go for that. That'll get them out and looking around. Maybe we can start shooting down some of those um, spot planes as well. That would be nice. Reduce the number of enemy information that's uh, sort of propping, popping up in the area. Enemy fleet spotted. Oh, we've caught them up. We go see if we can sink them. I don't think I'm ready to sort of be any good at this, but I'm well up for having a go. <laughs> yeah, let them move in. Spotted. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um. Look how quickly they're closing in on us. That is a huge problem. We're going to lose that convoy. There is nowhere for them to run. Our main force is all the way down here. That's maybe uh, that was maybe a mistake. So let's bring them straight back. We have encountered the enemy. Crap. They've got three destroyers and one battleship. We've got six oil tankers and a corvette. We're going to lose all three, all, all, all seven of these ships. Uh, my only option, really. We have smooth seas. We have smooth seas. Now, technically, we want to go over here. But if I just turn and run, is there a chance, do you think, that we would give... No. I was just thinking maybe <clears throat> one of our other forces might be able to catch us up. I don't think we've got any other choice than to run. So that's the Corvette. So if I take the entire squadron and get them to go... Why is it still turning the Corvette? That's weird. So can I not turn them round? I can only move the Corvette. Ah. Perhaps I'm not in charge of these boys, but I can tell them where to like which direction to go once we're in battle um okay i'm going to put the corvette run your keys will jiggle in your pocket don't run your keys will jiggle in your pocket uh i'm gonna run i am gonna run 
I can't see any other alternative. We've got this tiny little Corvette that's not going to be able to do anything against these boys. Corvette has to stand and fight valiantly while the others run. I was thinking that. Do I sacrifice the Corvette in favour of the others? But I'll be honest with you, I think the Corvette is just going to get chewed up. They're not even going to slow down to kill him. They're just going to kill him and keep on going. I don't, I don't think there's any humane solution to this whatsoever. I'm going to speak to the convoy, and I'm going to say, Convoy! Head in that direction. As quick as you can. They're firing already, look. We can't see them. So what I might do is let him get close enough to identify where they are. I mean, it is possible that they don't actually know we're here. They might just be heading in this general direction and Abandoned not ship. actually... Abandoned ship. Okay, I think they know we're here. They sunk one already. So they're not even bothering to go for the, the Corvette. So this ship is done already, look. That's the noise you want to hear underwater. But how do I get underwater? I can't get the underwater cam to work. It's really upsetting me. There's a bird's eye view camera. Oh, he's going straight down, look. I can't actually see where he's been hit. Wow, that is sinking fast. Yeah, I don't dispute that at all, Sensational. There's also um, a lot of historical uh, combat information to suggest that um, especially against the Japanese fleet, a bunch of destroyers went up against enemy units, totally outnumbered, um, and actually caused them to uh, to run away, so to speak. Fire up will. So I'll do what I can, I suppose, with this with this guy. But we've already lost one convoy. Yep, uh, and I'd be very surprised if we don't lose more. You can see that they're not a million miles off hitting us already. Let's get him to change direction. He's at full whack. One thing I did find interesting was it looked like that main ship was heading in the opposite direction. So he's going away. Yeah. But I just don't think we can delay the enemy. I don't think we've got any... I mean, the fact that they can shoot straight over the top of us and hit them already, it, it kind of negates the... Even the fact that I'm trying to deflect their shots is, is almost pointless because one of them or two of them could shoot at us and the other two would just take out the entire flipping convoy. There's not much I could do about that. What I shouldn't have done is move the main fleet from Portsmouth. I should have just accepted that we had no anti-submarine warfare units in that area for a while. That's a lesson learnt. The greater good. My job is not to sink submarines. It is to protect the convoys. That's what I've got to remember. I'm going to make sure I do that 
as much as possible. Right, let's uh, at least try and get them in radar range. I must say, I do like the modelling on, on all the ships. They seem to be very accurate. Oh, that was close. Try and zigzag it a bit. In fact, if I was smart, I would say, go here. Then go here. But that might not be zigzaggy enough. Let's go there. There, no, that's too tight. Let me get closer in so I can do this properly. So go there. And then there. Then there. Does it have torpedoes? Nope. No torpedoes. He's agile and he's got um, depth charges. That's all he's got. So the battleship has turned around and it's going home. He's not even slightly interested in getting involved in this little fight. It'd be kind of interesting to see if you can actually avoid being hit. I imagine the closer I get to them, the more accurate they're going to get. But to be honest, it's only going to take one shot and we'll be done. Let's see if I can get some shots on these boys. And give him a bloody nose or something. I don't even see them. I can see them on radar, but I can't see them physically, visually, or whatever. It's out of range anyway. Only just. We're almost in range. Oh, wrong button. Wondering if perhaps... They sunk another one. Oh, they bloody have, look. You don't think there's a submarine in here that I haven't spotted, do you? It's taking a little bit longer to sink. But sink she will. another one down. Oh, it's the Corvette. They've hit her. I really wish it would go back to zero. Like, you know, one time speed when something important happens. Like, oh, look, it works now. That's so strange. I don't know why it doesn't work all the time. No doubt it's something I'm doing. But anyway, there she goes. I don't think she even got a shot off. So I should just auto-resolve this. I'm pretty sure we're going to lose the lot. I can't see how any other 
outcome could possibly happen. Let's also resolve this one. That's all our ships being sunk, by the way. Sunk. Sunk, 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 sunk the lot. We did do some damage, though. Unless... They might be the, the ships that came out of there that we damaged before. That's interesting. Uh, that's probably what they are. So they've left the super damaged ones behind to sink or survive. And they're the ones that we're now chasing with the submarine. There's four there. It's quite a lot. We need to get some planes in the sky. Right, so that convoy is heading back. That convoy is about to come down here and suffer the same consequences. So what I might do, if I can, I don't know if I can. See, look, he's, def he's determined to go there. So I can't deliver there because it's not a supply destination. Okay, but this one is. So can I... How do I do this? Do I not have it selected? Is that what it was? All right, there we go. Uh, deliver cargo here. There we go. Right, okay, so he might survive now that we've done that. So that's a good move. Um, he's already going that way. He's going back, he's going back, he's going back. And he looks like he's going that way as well. Okay, that should be fine then. Short term, we've made a solution there. Let's hope we can catch up with these guys and get a bit of payback. Enemy fleet spotted. There she is. So submersible, one light cruiser. Oh hang on, I wanted this one. Uh Can we chase them down before we get caught by this one? Maybe, maybe not. We have encountered the enemy. I think he's going to catch us up before... Oh, he has. Okay, he has. So he's caught us up. So we're going to have to sink this guy if we want to catch these guys. That's basically what's going to happen. All right. Let's see what we can do, if anything at all. Visibility good. We have smooth seas. We have smooth seas. So there's the enemy. And we've got four ships here. So what I want is for you to come down here. Breaking formation. Go to the side. Just wondering what, at what point do I tell them to submerge? Do I say submerge now? Because I don't know what the range of the guns are, which is one of the problems. Breaking formation. I want you to go there and there. Breaking formation. So we'll have this guy go dead ahead and then submerge and then Breaking 
sort of peel off to one side. Breaking formation. Oh, that's weird. Why is it like that? Submerge. Does that mean he's submerging now? I'm not entirely sure how that works. Right, let's start the battle and just see what they do. Is it mid? It's bloody night time. Okay, so he's submerged already. He... I don't know what he's doing. He is submerged. Right, he's at periscope depth. That's what we want. So, let's bring them all up to periscope depth. Decrease depth. Decrease depth. And then we can react accordingly. So, actually, let's get the one that's so furthest then. away to come up. And then as soon as the enemy starts shooting at him... We know the other three guys are within range. General quarters! General quarters! Here she comes. I actually want to see this, so I'm going to... Ah! That's the wrong button. Here she goes. Again, I have no real information telling me how deep this submarine is. The boat can see. So I thought it was about to pop out any second, but it looks like we're actually still quite deep. We're at running depth still. All right, let's speed up. A lot deeper than I realised. Ah! Didn't see it in time. All guns! Oh, they're firing at us already. So we know we're in shot range, at least. Or are we? We know they're in shot range. Flipping out. See how many shots she got off on us there before we even managed to tell her to shoot. Well, that's bad. Now, I'm going to fire a torpedo with this guy. And he's going to think it came from that other ship. Which, obviously, it, it didn't. He's not going to know that. So, <laughs> come on, brain. How did I do this before? Select. Torpedo. Spread down to one. Zoom in. Line her up. I think we're bang on her, aren't we? Maybe not bang on her. Let's go two... Two to us... Uh, port side. And I'm going to put one out there. 
I've got to remember how to fire. What did I do then? I came out of... Damn it. Lock on target. There we go. That's what I forgot to do. We're going to come slightly off to a side here. Okay, and I'm going to fire. How the bloody hell do I fire? Left click. Okay, there's one gone. The other one I'm going to place down just the left side in case she swerves to avoid the first one. And then I'll put the next one far over to her left. I've got one left. So hopefully that's a good spread. We won't know what's going to happen there until it happens. All a bit of an experiment. Right. So I would like to... Turn up here. And then turn there and stop. Right now, this ship is perfectly in alignment, which is what part of our plan. So, torpedoes, single shot. Oh, we've got a hit! think uh lock on target yes i think we've hit her oh man we hit her with like all of those look how close that one was the first one must have hit her i can't believe it i really didn't expect that to happen we were just about to send another load in there decisive victory how much damage did our submarine take that's the question Yay! Yay, indeed. I feel bad now. I wasted all those torpedoes. I needn't have fired more than one. <laughs> it's really hard to hit a ship that's coming straight at you. That was, I think, more luck than judgment. But I'll take it. I'll happily take that. First shot, first kill. So we sunk her and we didn't take any damage at all. That's surprising. I thought we got hit. That's going to do wonders for our morale. Right. Well, there's a bit of payback. Let's go get these boys. They sunk seven of our ships. So there's a bit more killing coming their way. Get some German spotters there. Where's my main convoy? They're heading back. But it's going to take a while. Right. I feel like I'm starting to get a bit of a feel for the game. Still many, many gaps in my understanding. Enemy fleet spotted. We have encountered the enemy. <gasps> There are two submarines this close to us. That's Convoy Charlie. Oh no, look. How did Force 3 totally miss them? Right, okay. 
this now charlie which way are charlie going HMS Lockek. They're heading back to New York or wherever. I'm not sure they're allowed to attack us. Whether or not that stops them, totally different question. But I think. Visibility good. We have smooth what? seas. Once they've dropped off their goods. Submarines aren't allowed to touch them on the way back. That's my understanding. I could be completely wrong. Until 1942, 43, when the Americans join. Um, so we've been ambushed. I can't see where the enemy are at all. I have no idea where they are. Which is not going to make life very easy. Uh, so we've got out. Ah, we've actually got a proper ship, though. HMS Lockheck is a bit kick ass. And then we got some smaller ships with a little bit of weaponry on them. But mostly not much. So we'll have Lockheck then. We'll move her. Oh, I can't move her. Right, because we've been ambushed. Right. Right, so that can go into that squadron. This squadron can head... In fact, just go back to port. And then I'll see if I can do some damage with the frigate. That kind of makes sense. Fire up will. No eyes. But we know they're in that general vicinity. And they're close. This is really close. I'm guessing it's a free-for-all, actually. Because by rights, they're in our territorial waters, so we can attack them. So they can attack her. By proxy, that must mean that they can attack the oil tankers as well. I don't really know. I think I'm making it up as I go along here. I see a submarine. I see a submarine. I see a submarine. is heading over there. So I've got to go even further to the right. Do wish you wouldn't keep dropping out my binoculars. It's hard enough to find these blighters in the first place. He's travelling at some speed. No. There he is, there he is. Looks like he's coming straight past us. Can't see the blighter. Lost him. I've lost him.
There he is. Cheeky little git. Well, in that case, let's send these guys in that direction. I can actually see him better from this view, I think. Where's the other one? He might just be the decoy. Is that the other one? Bloody hell, I think it is, you know. It is. They've gone straight past both of them. Hmm. So one's here and one's over here. Try and not sail into our own ships, shall we? They might be going for the oil tanker. But there's one, there's the other. So they didn't attack at all. Maybe they just wanted to get past the convoy and get themselves in position for the next convoy that comes in. So what I could do, and I've not done this before, is I could lay down some smoke. And that will obscure their view of anything in favour of... Whatever. Let's just do it as a... a test there we go look at this look at this it says here burning oil the ship begins to belch thick clouds of black smoke a cloaking a large area no ship may be spotted through smoke without the use of radar well, that's pretty cool isn't it i like that that's a feature let's get a little shot of that never done that before that's kind of cool. Question is, where have they bloody gone now? That one? Yeah, I don't understand how they're going so fast. We're doing 22 knots, they're submerged. They shouldn't be getting away from us. Speed things up. Really annoying that it kicks it kicks me out of binocular mode when I try and put a new heading in. Can't see the other one. Damn it, now I can't see either of them. My job is to protect the convoy. So, technically, having done my job, I think I'll leave those two. We know they're there, 
and we'll go hunt them, but not with this ship. Oh, hang on, what's that? Just my waypoint, that's fine. Yeah, I think we're safe. I'm a bit nervous to auto resolve, but I, I think we're safe. I'm going to put Squadron, whatever his name is, back into uh, back into that. We'll stick to grid formation. We'll send everybody. You notice there's no land mass here either. Can't quite figure out where the open sea is. Thinking it might be in that direction. Textures are a bit flaky on some of the ships, but the modelling is, is decent. See all the machine gun mounted elements here. Another one up there. All the life boys and the lifeboats. The cannon on the back. Nice. Merchant Navy. The unsung heroes of World War II. Right, I'm going to try and auto-resolve this, and uh, my fingers are crossed that we're safe. Oh, you're joking. How did that happen? I'm not sure I follow that, because submerged, there's no way they could have caught up with us. So frustrating. They went straight past the convoy. They had no interest in us whatsoever. They didn't surface. They submerged. They disappeared. They're going to be slower than us. How on earth did they even catch us up? So anyway, HMS Lockheck has been sunk, which is really bad news, but at least wasn't one of the convoy ships and we sunk one of theirs so not a total loss but enemy fleet spotted really not good oh, god and the other issue of course is that there's still a submarine out here right let's try and catch up with these guys and do them as much damage as possible I'd like to swing the numbers game back in our favour if I can. We the enemy. Right. Have we, though? Ah, the spotter has spotted them. Okay. Supermarine Woolworths has come under anti-aircraft fire. Uh, oh, I see. So I don't think this plane has any bombs or anything. So we'll evade. It's this guy, right? How do I... So I can't click on that plane. Yes, I can. Uh, he has bombs. Let's have a go, shall we? He's got a bomb. You never know. We might be able to drop it on the submarine and sink it. Good. We have smooth seas. Can I move him? No, because we've been ambushed. Okay. So, theoretically, we are coming under enemy fire already. 
get this lined up. So I want our little fella here to go and bomb this guy. I'll be honest, I don't see him, but I believe he's there. We've got a speed boost, we've got a drop bomb option, and we've got a land option. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down to the lowest possible level right before we get on top of him. Sort of about now. We use the speed boost to get away afterwards. I think he may have uh, submerged. It looks like he has that. Okay, so we'll gain height and see if we can pick him up again. Maybe we'll get a second chance at attacking him. I wonder if you can use binoculars in the plane. No, you can't. Pointing. So it's got to be somewhere in this square, I would say. And they would have used binoculars, I, I would think. Oh, he's dropped some bombs! He did it automatically. Are they depth charge bombs? Inconclusive. Ah. So, I don't know if they were depth charge bombs or whether they were just bomb bombs. But inconclusive. We don't know if we sunk him or not. Okay, that's interesting. First time I've done that. That's a new experience. We will find that sub, we and we will sink him. The enemy. There he is. Right, now we've got him. We've got two light cruisers hunting this boy down. This is very much like the tutorial. And, and we've got the plotter. That's awesome. Uh, he's short on fuel. So can I send him back to base? If I click land. Returning home. Okay, cool. So hopefully he won't crash and die. Right. Um not quite sure how we've been ambushed, but anyway, that's what it says. So we've got radar. Oh, is that that's our plane. Oh, I didn't realize that. So we've got planes on here. You can find me some subs, subscribers. I can find you some subs, subscribers. Ah, <laughs> uh, so I didn't get that straight away. Boom, boom. Right, let's uh, let's head to this location. Now they don't look like they're moving. We should be at maximum... Okay, they're just picking up speed now. Okay, fine. And the location of... The last known location of the sub is now... God, a lot closer than I thought. Right. So if I select this... That's that's torpedoes. Oh no. We've only got torpedoes. Oh nuggets. We haven't got any depth charges. If he pops up, we could blow him out of the water. But he'd have to be an absolute imbecile to pop up with these cannons around. 
Let's hope he's a stupid captain. These ships are in the... Oh, hello. He is stupid. Do we... S oh, my God. Wow. That's the most on fire I think I've ever seen anything. <laughs> That's still a vista, baby. We are sinking subs for fun over here. Um, how realistic was that, do you think? If I was a submarine commander and I knew that there were two light cruisers heading in my general direction, having been spotted by an aeroplane just moments before, I don't think I'd surface. I think I'd go as deep as I possibly could and then silent running. But then, you know, they could just sit there for 12 hours and wait for us to uh, run out of oxygen. Still. We're starting to even those numbers up a bit, aren't we? Let's get force number three doing a smaller patrol. So let's check on our development, our buildings Enemy and stuff. Spotted. Oh, God, it's never ending. Right. Uh, damn it. That convoy is coming to England. We've got one Corvette. And there's two subs. I'm going to change our directory to drop off at Swansea. And hopefully we can outrun them. He might miss them. He might miss them. He might miss them. Okay. See what happens. What's going on over here? Oh, we're right on them. We're right on them. Actually, whilst to think about it, one thing I think we should do is maybe build one, a couple of those little destroyers. What were they called? Is it a J-class destroyer? 4.7 inch, 10 torpedoes, and depth charges. Yeah, okay, so we're going to commission... Oh, I can only do one. We haven't got enough food. Okay, well, one would be enough. At least, at least then we can drop depth charges on submarines. We are perilously low on food. What happens if I get to zero food? Do people die? Ah. Yeah, they didn't get away. Where on earth... Did that spotter plane come from? In the middle of the bloody Atlantic Ocean.
Right, well, this is very much going to be a case of... We have smooth seas. This is very much going to be a case of the... Uh, the convoy running and the uh, Corvette trying to stop the enemy ships. Oh, no, what the hell? What the hell? What was all that? Right, so I've got no idea where these submarines are. That's well helpful. And why do we always start at zero knots? That's not normal either. Maybe that's a bug. Uh, right, where's, where's my Corvette? <laughs> Look at the size of the Corvette compared to the tankers. It's just a babby. We'll go half speed. And allow ourselves to drop back. What's, what speed are these guys doing? So these guys are going 16 knots. Tankers are actually faster than the flipping Corvettes. But what if the submarines are in front of us? Uh, what the hell's going on over there? Oh, I thought it was two ships then. This is a really small convoy. Okay. I think we're just going to have to speed up time and hope that a submarine pokes his head out so that we can see him. Oh, damn it, they're in front of us. Oh no, that's an aeroplane. Do we have anti aircraft guns? No. Repel. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's handy. So we do have anti-tank gun. Ah, oh, we do have anti-aircraft guns on here. That's, that's not an anti-aircraft gun. But these guys, these guys are firing anti-aircraft guns, so maybe we get lucky. Repel. Oh. Take that, Fritz. Like that. Oh! <laughs> was that it? That whole battle was just for the aeroplane. Okay, what about the submarines then? I guess they didn't catch us up. But you've got to wonder where did that aircraft come from? So, what do we do? Do I drastically change my direction? change direction let's try and not be where that plane saw us if that makes sense enemy fleet spotted they have definitely caught us up we have encountered the enemy all right so this time it is against the subs Visibility moderate, the weather is poor, and the seas are rough. Weather is poor, and the seas are rough. Who does that benefit? Probably the submarines. I was going to tell them to sort of take in a... Um, an avoiding sort of direction up here but that does present the broadside of the ship right where the submarines are I'm a bit confused how they got in front of us to be honest with you because they were definitely chasing us um, a few anomalies going on here I think which way are they going now that's the other confusing thing. They're actually going in the direction we're going. So if we just slow down, 
peel off a bit, maybe we'll just get away with it. Let's try that. So we'll drop down to... The thing is, I don't know how fast they're going, do I? Drop down to literally no speed at all, which is a terrible idea. And then I'm just going to zigzag my way out of this. So... Breaking formation. No, 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 no. Want the squadron? There we go. Okay, that's probably a bug. <laughs> definitely found a bug there. That's definitely a bug. Right, so we're gonna desperately try and not be an obvious target. bring the Corvette right to the very front and he's going to try and intercept these guys uh, something like that enemy sighted Get your guns on. Right, we must have must have dived down. Right, that's interesting. He's now going that way. He's probably also going that way, but our guys are going that way, so... Let's hope they never meet each other. We'll see what the hell we can do here. Sonar reports distant contact. We don't have any sonar, so that seems highly unlikely. Terrible conditions. I don't see him at all. Radar says he's there, but we don't see him. Torpedo, torpedo. Where the hell did that come from? Right, so that's not going to hit us. Is it going to hit the flotilla? It may bloody well hit the flotilla. Can't speak. Panicking too much. Right, increase your, your speed and let's go. Immediately go up. That breaks it. That just totally breaks it. Can I shoot that? Fire up, Will. 
no. Oh my god, that is right on us, isn't it? That is right on them. Oh crap, there's another one coming in. No, it doesn't work properly. Oh, flipping out. Oh, that's going to miss us. I am far more concerned about this one. I'm hoping it's going to go through that little gap there. Oh, that is close. Oh, that is close. <laughs> oh, crikey, could have touched that one with my hand. Okay. There's definitely a submarine out there somewhere. Oh, Sniggets. That's right on us. Full reverse. Hard to starboard. Oh, that's going to be close. Oh, Mamma Mia. Oh, my good Lord. Get me on the next ship, quick. Right, you're just going to go in that direction at full full tilt. Oh, my Lord. I don't know if that one's going to clear. I think we might just get it. Oh, I don't know. No, no, that's looking really bad. It looks like it's turned at the last second. Oh, no. That's bang on. What a shot. Bad and ship. Bad and ship. You horrible little U-boats. Just you wait until you pop up for air. I am going to give you such a bloody nose. If I ever spot you. Blow tubes number one and two. Good advice, Kevin. Thank you very much, matey. I don't know why you call you Kevin. It's because your name comes up as Kevin. But thanks, Spike. <laughs> Rejoin formation. I mean, she's sinking slowly. Uh, actually, not that slowly. That one shouldn't be a problem. Although we're perilously close to this guy. And a steo. Just head that way if you want. That full pelt. Don't know if they can collide or not. I don't know how smart they are in terms of avoiding each other. That's less than a mile apart though, so they are way too close. I can't go underwater with this one again. I think they've got themselves sorted out. People who were on these ships back then were so great. Like honestly, the um, I mean the the 
these tiny, tiny little um, Corvettes, genuinely, they, they should never have been out there. Um, from what I understand, there was no cover. The Royal Navy was under the impression that if you let sailors get too comfortable, they get lazy. So they deliberately designed them to be cold and uncomfortable. And they really were. But then equally, you know, the merchant navy, these guys, not military trained, they didn't join up to go to war. They knew the U-boats were hunting them and they still went out time and time again. So many were sunk. And in the First World War as well. You know, we didn't learn anything in the First World War. We just let it all happen again, which is really stupid. Right. How on earth am I going to find these guys? They are way too close together. <laughs> Let's just slow this guy right down a minute. Otherwise we're going to destroy our own ships and we don't want that. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm not going to bother doing the auto resolve because we already know that regardless of what the situation is, you're going to lose a ship or two. kind of interesting it's kind of sailing at a, an angle in order to go straight It'd be interesting if he does that the opposite way round to go the other way fighting against the current and the waves or whatnot that or it's a bug <laughs> right now technically Arguably, if the submarines are submerged, then they're nowhere near the speeds of the, uh, of the convoy. So they should, in theory, not be able to catch us unless they surface. And if they surface, then I can shoot them. I'll just hang around on the uh, starboard side of our convoy and try and intercept any naughty little U-boats. Yeah, he is. Yeah. 
in order to sail straight is uh I, it, it should be going that way I don't know maybe it's a design thing see if I can spot them like last time I don't see any sign of them. And then all of a sudden, that happens. What the hell are we shooting at? Over there somewhere. So they are, they are chasing. Not only knows how we got shots off, I didn't even see it. Okay. So we've got a general idea of where he is. Keep fishing in that area. There he is again. Look. No sign of him. Well, this is good. We're in between the sub boats and the co the convoy. We could definitely hold them off. As long as these boys keep going. And they're a bit bloody close to each other, aren't they? Is he going faster than him? No, nope. 15, 17 knots. Told him to rejoin formation. I'm not sure he actually is. We'll issue him a command. A slightly better space now. I'm happy with that. Right. Now we're cutting in to where we know the sub boats were. So they might end up being sort of here, which is well within our range. We've only got one gun, so... Chances of actually hitting anything are pretty slim, but... Our job is to keep them at bay, keep them away from this lot 
I don't know how long for, but if we can just do that, then we've done our job. Could be right there. <laughs> they're not, they're right there. Again, he sunk before I could get to him. He didn't sink, sorry, he submerged. What I'm going to do, I'm going to slightly change our tactic here. No. Yeah. I'll slightly change our tactic. Start zigzagging. We'll see how that goes. So I only know where one of the two subs is. I don't really know where they both are. I don't want to get distracted by one and allow the other one through. The whole time they're submerged, they're slower than we are. That's that's the logic, the theory behind this approach. There you go. It's all the way back there now. So that's good. I mean, they're so far away from the flotilla that it's pretty much job done I'd say they pop up every now and then just to see where things are but the problem is if I auto resolve now there's nothing to stop them from just popping up completely hot tailing it over here and cutting back in it's kind of the problem I'll run this slow jaunt here and if they do get close enough we can put a couple of shots on them put them back underwater slow them down a bit more and then we'll run off after that that should be it using proper tic tacs Bloody hell, I've been playing this for three hours. That's a good sign, isn't it? 
I could sink three hours into the game and not really notice that I've played for three hours. I feel like I've played for... Feels like an hour and a half. And they say time flies when you're having fun, so... A good sign that there's a, a good game here. They haven't popped their heads up for a while. I think they're out of our radar range now. So on this next turn, if we don't see them by the time we've reached here, I'm going to assume that they've broken off the attack. And we'll just go and rejoin the oil tankers. Oh. Speak of the devil. We can't see him. So maybe if I can get these guys to the dotted line, that indicates the end of the the end of the uh, battle, so to speak. Let's go more north than just get it done and dusted. This will be the telling one. They've popped up They're just outside of radar range. They should both pop up on our radar catcher. If not, then they've either broken off and gone in a different direction or they're submerged. Either way, it means they're not going to be able to catch us. Extend that length and then head back to the convoy. I'm pretty sure they're not following anymore. So this guy's doing 16 knots. I was going to slow them down so you can catch them up. There's no point. Because once we once we end the the combat mission, they'll all end up back together again. I'm sure. You did well, little boat. You did well. We lost one ship, but uh, you did as well as you could. Breaking formation. 
Who's breaking formation? Breaking formation. Oh, okay, that, that's it. They're going off map. Okay, cool. Breaking formation. Right, we just got to get this guy out. Ah, uh, I didn't realise that. Okay. So he can just hot tail it now as fast as he wants. It's going to take a while though. Oh, hang on. I can surely I can auto resolve now. So why were they slightly damaged? At least we lightly damaged one of their ships. Enemy fleet spotted. Oh, seriously, they're just going to have another go. They're just going to hunt us down and do it all over again. That, I, technically, that is what they did. So, can't really complain about that. What is going on over here? We were chasing someone a minute ago and. Enemy fleet spotted. That's a battleship. That would be where the aeroplane came from then. Um, okay, so can I get him to come south? No. So it's, it has to go to a location first. All right. Can we get him to dock there instead? Gonna still we have encountered close. the enemy. Blast. I didn't have time to... Uh, I didn't have time to avoid him. Three all tankers, one corvette. Oh my gosh. I think I'll make this my last combat tonight. Three and a half hours or thereabouts. It's been quite a long first look at this game. I feel like... Um, I feel like I understand it a little bit better. Are we going to hit a bug here? I think the game may have forced my hand. It looks like it may have crashed. I'm noticing over here on the uh, written readout that campaign initializing is false. Game loading is false. That never sounds like a good thing, especially when it says loading here. Ships loading true. Loading textures 0 out of 92. False. That's not working. Loading models... Zero out of four, so that's not loading. Arena tiles, uh, one, but that's not loading either. So I think that's crashed. So I guess, unless it suddenly springs into life, we'll we'll wrap it up there, guys. Uh, Victory at Sea, Atlantic. It's um, very different from the other Victory at Sea games, from my recollection. And uh, dare I say it seems easier, even though it's meant to be more realistic. But I like the fact that we are creating the ships, um, creating the, the convoys, creating the fleets that will be defending all of these uh, crossings and so on and so forth. Trying to manage that. There's a whole whole host of stuff uh, that we haven't got into there's espionage there are spies there are um the ability to go into europe and 
uh, disrupt their manufacturing and their intelligence forces and so on and so forth and then of course we've got a you know stockpile enough stuff so that we can create d-day and then we've got to launch d-day attack a whole bunch of stuff that i haven't even got into yet but like i say i know it's it does look like it's crashed but the version i'm playing and this was made very clear to me is not the version that will be released on the 5th of april um that will be an early access game but this what i'm playing today is like an early 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 access game so this is maybe a month old or maybe even older than that i don't know um and other than this little crash here uh it has been working fine i haven't really had any issues with it at all it has been working a few little audio bugs and i really hope that the underwater camera is um, as good as it used to be in the other uh, the other games which again if, in case you missed it are 75 and 85 percent off on steam at the moment so you can grab yourself a real bargain there if uh, if this is your first sort of venture into uh, the victory at sea uh, series well worth getting uh, go check out other people's reviews don't take my word for it go watch uh, taff in exile is a player who plays it a lot and there's a guy called Wolf Pack something. Can't think of his name. Uh, if you just type that in, though, uh, Victory at Sea Wolf Pack, I'm sure he'll pop up. Both very good at the game, very uh, entertaining YouTubers. Uh, far, far, far better at the game and YouTubing than I am. Uh, so go check them out if you don't think this game is for you but genuinely um i've had a lot of fun playing all the other versions and i'm having fun playing this version but this one is quite different wolfgang is it wolfgang tess wolf wolfgang maybe is it wolfgang i'm not sure whatever it is i'm sure you can find it anyway thank you so much for watching i'm going to go to bed uh maybe have a cup of tea before i go to sleep but thank you for watching this has been the first look at victory at sea atlantic um I can't wait until the 5th of April when it and releases properly. And any Warrior 1405. Do you play this game as well, mate? I didn't know that. Well, if you do, then very cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.